Hey everybody, in this episode, we're gonna make a basketball. So we're gonna start adding some appearance, some color to our um, documents, to our on-shaped stuff. And we're gonna to go to create and we're gonna to go to document. So we're gonna call this one basketball. And one thing I have forgotten, I apologize, is start adding your initials to your document. So basketball and my initials are SP. And as this gets going, here we go. All right, so basketball, obviously round. Um, we need to know how big a basketball is, and basketballs come in different sizes based off of girls' basketballs, boys' basketballs. So we need to know those. So you can simply Google those right now, or some of you might know them. It doesn't matter which uh, view that you pick. I'm just going to pick the front view right now and go to sketch. All right basketballs around so we're going to pick this um circle that is the center point circle um which is the kind of the default the first one i'm going to pick the center point and i'm going to where's the circle drawing it's not drawing so let me try that again there we go okay so um let's see and then i gotta click it to make it drawing now um Avoid clicking anything else because then you can just type in 9.33 and you can do that if you accidentally already picked or clicked the circle button or uh, you can always go to dimension, click the dimension of that and you can see that it adds it right there. And let me undo that by hitting control Z and I'm going to make the dimension 9.33. Hit enter. There we go. So that is the size of a boys basketball. Um, now, I if I extrude this, it's not going to be round. It's just going to be very similar to the vase that we made in the previous assignment. So what I want to do is grab a line and I'm going to start with the line on the edge of there and try to go right through the middle. If you don't make it through the middle, that's OK because I'm gonna hit escape real quick on my keyboard because I want to use um, this coincide and I wanna click on my line and I wanna click on the center point there and that brings that line right through the middle. So, so now I'm looking at the front view and then I'm going to trim it off. So I'm gonna trim off this. So now we can see we've got half of our basketball. We, we took a circle, we drew a line through the middle, and then we cut half of the circle off. And I am going to hit the green button there. And I'm gonna use this right here. This is new. We've been using the extrude tool here for everything. Now we're gonna get a little bit more advanced, stepping up your game. We're gonna use the revolve tool. I don't know why I just did that dance, that was weird. Okay. Click on the half circle that you did. Click on where it says revolve axis. We want to click on then this line to select what we're going to revolve it around. Um, it took a second to draw that, uh, take that circle, revolve it around that one line and uh, hit the green check mark. I'm going to then kind of show you as I rotate it around, it's a ball. We can't really see it rotate. Um, what I'm going to do then is highlight it. I'm going to right click on there and I'm going to add an appearance. All right. So this is super oh, missed here. This is super cool. I'm going to, I'm going to change it orange because that's the color of the basketball, right? And I'm going to hit the green check mark and we're all done. So you should have an orange basketball, you can you can change the color of it because basketballs come in all different colors. You should have it labeled basketball with your initials. You've used the revolve tool. Um, you can always get back in here, double click. You can change the dimensions to make it smaller. You can change it back, of course. All right, and that is how you make a basketball. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, feel, fr feel free to reach out to me. Have a great day.